What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2021 Panini Prism Football Hobby 3 Box uh, Random Teams Break number 3 sold out. And again, guys, uh, everybody gets a random team in the NFL. No vet common ship, but everything else does. And here we go. Dice roll it. Garrett down to Robert. And then we have Cardinals down to the Commanders. Roll it. 5 and a 3. Uh, 8 times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and it was eight. And final time. Jonathan K down to Jonathan K. Eight times. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Five and a three. Eight, eight. Ravens down to the Bucks. All right, so Jonathan, you have the Ravens. James with the Jets. Uh, Ken Bond, you have the Vikings. James Richard with the Chargers. Uh, Richard Mathern with the Titans. Jeffrey with the Bills. Matt L with the Chiefs, Casey with the Commanders, Ben with the Falcons, Robert, last one with the Texans, Casey with the Packers, Nick Stover with the Seahawks, uh, Shea with the uh, Cowboys, Jonathan K with the Saints and Bears, Ken Bond with the Browns, Garrett with the Rams, Sean Mag with the Lions, Jeffrey with the Panthers, Garrett, you have my uh, Eagles, Vilber with the Giants, James with the Bengals, Casey with the Jaguars, uh, Ken Bond with the Broncos, Jason with the 49ers, Joe with the Colts, Stover with the Cardinals, Jonathan K with the... Um, Raiders, Jeffrey with the Dolphins, Jose with the Steelers, Michael with the Patriots, and Jonathan with the Tampa Bay Bucks. Alright, if anybody wants to trade... And uh, let me go through a couple orders I just got. So Steven just got six in the pack filler Alright, Colts up for trade, it looks like. Alrighty, I don't think anyone's gonna trade. So let's just close the trade window then. Stick to what you got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. TWC trade window closed. Alright guys, these are the remaining boxes here. 
left, right. So again, let's do a little dice roll. If I roll a one, two, three, we're gonna go to the left, four, five, six to the right. The remaining three boxes will be for the last break. Five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this will be for the last three box break. And I'm sure we have plenty more prisms, so we'll post up number five after number four, and that'll be from a fresh case. No trades, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Bo Jackson, green scope for the Raiders. Going to Jonathan, to 75. Brevin Jordan for the Texans, rookie silver. Jimmy Graham, to 249. T Law. Najee, very nice. A little blue ice for the Steelers going to Jose to 99. That's a very nice color. JK Dobbins. points we have a uh, nation right so we'll be giving that at the end to 175 we have a dragon oh not dragon we have a snake skin coming up Kalia Mac to 175 Jake Funk, snakeskin rookie for the Rams. Tony Garrett, there you go, man. <laughs> no, Rex. I did not. That sounds amazing, though. She gave it back. Well, was the money supposed to be in the couch? Or was that some type of drug, drug-related couch? David Carr to 225. Roquan Smith. No, I sold it all out already. See ya. See ya. Have a great evening. Charles Haley to 149. Cam, oh Cam. 
Amir Smith. But that's what I'm saying, though. So they didn't even know it was in there? What kind of... What kind of is that? That's... Not that I would go looking through couches if I'm going to give it away, but... That's weird. Great place to hide some cash, though, right? See ya. Quinn Williams. To 249. DeForest Buckner. 299. And Davis Mills. Very nice. Rookie autograph for the Houston Texans. Robert last spot Mojo to 149. Very nice. Solid hit right there. Tredavious White, like my grandma, my, my grandma Carmen, uh, she uh, was 98 when she passed away, uh, back in 2018. She started getting like a little, a little bit like dementia. She was just like starting to see things and forget a lot of things. But one thing that she always did though, was that like anytime we gave her money, like her own money actually, she never, she never trusted certain people, like my aunts and uncles. So she would hide it. But then she would forget where she hid it. So, when she finally passed away, we were kind of moving out her things. Like, we found 20s and 50s and all these different bills all around the house. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't like a crazy amount of money, but like, it was just funny. Because like, we'd be like, what happened to the money we just gave you? She's like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> you know? But she's always been like that. Though. She, she didn't like to like, uh, just like have money in one place. She always just hid it around. But like, yeah, so we all had said like when she had passed away, it'd be like a scavenger hunt. And it kind of was actually. She, yeah, uh, she would totally forget. <laughs> the casting couch, Mike? The casting couch is now, it's over there. <laughs> We, that's what, the olden homes, yeah, that have like been abandoned for so long or have had relatives like grandparents that had lived there their whole lives. Yeah, that could be a lot of crazy stuff hiding in a lot of houses. Curtis Samuel to 99. Daz Newsom. Derek Barnett to 249. Mario Rogers is 75. Yeah, well, they definitely should be in gradable condition for sure. I mean, you never know. That's the only way to find out. <laughs> I mean, shit, if you've been living in a house like that, Rex, and it's like in the 1800s, you just really never know. You don't understand. People back in the day were just so, like, just wanted to hide things from people so in through walls and you know flooring just tear up your floors one day Rex maybe you'll find some some Mickey Mantles or something Nico Collins and a Javon Holland 
you know, when Kroger lets you go, Rex, you know, because of all the complaints that I've filed already against you, just, just one day, just tear up all your floors, and then you're going to find, like, a 52 mantle down there with some, like, $10,000, which was probably, like, $100,000 back in the day. And then you'll thank me. All right, he's in Texas to 125 there. Or you'll find like a T206 or something, you know? You never know. Something like that. Fletcher Cox. Dak Prescott. Jordan Brooks to 125. Amon Green. Dude, Kroger's a giant company. Zach Wilson and Dante Hall. Scared me for a second there. Got me nervous. Thought that was a color blast. Trey McKitty. 175. And Zach Cunningham. Mike Evans. Laramie Tunsil and Austin Eckler for the Chargers going to James Richards. Javon the Freak Curse for the Titans. 299. Alright, last box, guys. Yeah, I know Kroger's here, like, where I'm at. Like, obviously, uh, I think you guys are Albertsons too, right, Rex? But, uh, they, like, close on a lot of Albertsons, but I know for sure, like, all my Food for Lesses have a bunch of Kroger stuff. I know in Arizona, they're fries. Um... Trying to think what else has Kroger marks. But yeah, if they have 30, 28 different names, I mean, that's a lot. I don't remember. Are they are they all like Ralph's and all that too? Safeway? Yeah, I was going to say, okay, they're Ralph's, right? I was trying to think like, because I know Vons and Pavilions are the same. I know Vons and Pavilions are the same. I go to multiple, Mike, <laughs> depending on what I want to find. I My apartment complex is legit within walking distance. Like, literally, like, my apartment complex, the next building is a, a superior, which is superior. More attract, like, more, uh, more, like, like, Latino foods they sell there. Like, more, more than anything. So, a lot of Latinos go there. Uh, but, like, depending on what I want to find, like, I go to Smart and Final, that's down the street. Um, you know, uh, between those two, there's a North Gate that I go to. I love their pan bolillo there. Their bread is amazing.
Oh, do they really? Oh, that's right. You said that, yeah, your store wasn't really Kroger. It was Owens, right? They kind of just got rid of the name. Mac Jones. T. Higgins. Yeah, I go to multiple grocery stores depending on what I want to find. Joe Theismann. Well, Northgate and Superior are, like I said, more like Latino kind of markets. So they'll have all the spicy stuff, all the the Mexican brands, all that stuff. So within the grocery store, they have, you know, they sell like, you know, they'll sell like plates of rice and beans with meat. They'll have, you know, burritos they can make. They can make tacos for you. They sell tamales. They sell, you know, all the soups like menudo, pozole. Bidia, like they all sell that there so sometimes i think for the majority of people i would if i was able to take a lunch and they had one of those here i would just go eat at like one of those markets just grab a nice little plate of food or you know some tamales and stuff like that so they do that and they cater towards that like even during thanksgiving like they also like sell thanksgiving food there so like, like i remember some people instead of just like cooking thanksgiving they just go there and just make plates for the whole family and then they just take it home but yeah, no, every day they have something they're selling, so... It just feels like home to me, because that's what I grew up in. Like, just always with my grandparents going to stores like that. My parents, family in general. You know? So, that's what I, like, go to. But, like, if I... Like, you know what's funny? is like, at those stores, I can't find, like, my wife likes the cold brew, like, Starbucks. I can't find those at those stores, because it just... I don't. They don't really cater towards that. Like, they don't... They just have their own, like, coffee brands there. Not that they don't sell Starbucks coffee, but they just don't sell the cold brew, so... I'd have to go to, like, a regular grocery store, like a Rouse and stuff like that, to find stuff like that. Xavier Rhodes. It's $1.99. <clears throat> And a Josh Palmer rookie autograph. Brian Burns here. Van Jefferson for the Rams to 249. Eric Metcalf and a Traquan Smith auto. To ninety-nine. And Saints with that autograph, Jonathan K. Jordan Brooks. Josh Allen, very nice little purple. Buffalo Bills, that's going to Jeffrey. My last color here, maybe? Yeah, a little hyper. Vince Young, how about that? Tennessee Titans. And then we're going to end it off with a Ramondre Stevenson, uh, Patriots Silver. Alrighty guys, well some nice hits here. Of course we were kind of spoiled with the first two boxes of this case. But, uh, you know, if stained glass are potentially case hits, then there's potentially at least that. Maybe a color blast, we know those are ones every 10 cases. But we did get a Davis Mills, bigger rookie really quarterback. We got a snakeskin, very nice Najee Harris there. But nothing, nothing too, too crazy out of these boxes compared to the first couple. But again, Prism does deliver a lot of color. And, you know, these actually do sell well. People love to collect the rainbows. And, uh, yeah, like I said, some nice stuff right there. We did get a wild card point, so we have to randomize that as well. Uh, but the last three boxes, our uh, break is on the website. 
Um, so if you guys want to get that rolling. I get confused, but I think it starts off from like 150 or 250 to as high as like, what someone said was it 10,000 or something like that? I don't know. It, it, it's like a huge range. So, um, yeah, I mean, potentially right there. I've heard people pull some like really good amount of points out of these though. So, all right. So let's switch scenes. And uh, let's just copy the teams. Whatever team is at number one gets the points. Roll it. Two or uh, five and a two, seven times. One, two, three, four, five. Six and seven. Dallas Cowboys, which is uh, Shay. <laughs> Excuse me. So there you go, wall card points coming your way. Again, the last four boxes of this case is uh, on the website, number four. Let's get that rolling, jazbeescasebreaks.com, guys. Appreciate it.